Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome to my channel. In this video, it's all about one minute recipes that can be made in the instant pot. So I'm going to show you guys how to make five Indian vegetarian recipes that will be ready in just a matter of a minute. So we are going to pressure cook in the instant pot for just a minute. All these are dump and go recipes. So all we have to do is throw in all the ingredients into the stainless steel pot and pressure cook for a minute. Couldn't get any easier and all these dishes taste really aromatic and delicious. So are you guys ready? So let's get started and let's make five one minute recipes in the instant pot. Our first one minute recipe is going to be red lentil and tomato curry. This can be also served as a soup. To the stainless steel pot, let's add one cup red lentil that's been rinsed under running water. So we don't have to soak the lentil and please only use red lentil. It will cook in just a minute. Other kinds of lentil require more cooking time, so adding two tomatoes chopped. For seasoning, let's add some Indian spices, adding quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, chili powder half to one teaspoon based on your heat level, half teaspoon ground cumin, so this will give a nice smoky flavor, one teaspoon coriander powder, so you can add any kind of spices that you want. So next, I'm adding half teaspoon garam masala. Next, one teaspoon salt. Adding two tablespoon ghee or clarified butter. So this will enhance the taste of this curry or soup greatly. Uh, so next, let's add two and a half cups water. If you prefer, you can also add chicken stock or vegetable stock. Here I'm adding water. So that's it. So combine everything well. So let's close the pot with the lid. Let's select the pressure cook setting. So clicking on manual and let's select the time to one minute and the pressure should be at high. So click on pressure and select high pressure. So let it pressure cook for a minute. After pressure cooking for a minute, let's do a quick pressure release. So I'm clicking on the pressure release valve. Let's open the lid and find out how it has turned out. So here's our delicious red lentil and tomato curry. So as you can see, red lentil has cooked really well. And it has to be cooked at high pressure so please only use red lentil other kinds of lentil requires more cooking time so this has turned out perfect and also uh, don't forget to add ghee or clarified butter let's serve into a bowl so this can be served as a curry along with white or brown rice it can be also served with naan or roti or you can serve this as a soup uh, so this is perfect uh, so you will be able to make red lentil tomato curry or soup in just a matter of a minute for some color let's garnish with chopped cilantro our second one minute recipe is going to be oats and mixed vegetable soup to the stainless steel pot, I'm adding one cup instant oats. So we have to add instant oats. Do not add the traditional rolled oats that will require more cooking time. Next, adding half cup mixed vegetables. You can add any kind of vegetables that you would like. Next, let's add some spices. I'm adding half teaspoon chili powder. You can add half to one teaspoon depending on your spice level quarter teaspoon turmeric powder one teaspoon coriander powder and I'm also going to add half teaspoon 
garam masala so these are all Indian spices that's used for everyday cooking and also adding one teaspoon salt adding two cups water so again you can add chicken stock or vegetable stock so this is up to your preference um, so adding quarter cup chopped cilantro give everything a good mix close the pot with the lid let's select the pressure cook setting so next I'm going to set the time to one minute and the pressure should be at high so here I'm using instant pot ultra model so I have to click start so let it pressure cook for a minute after pressure cooking for a minute let's do a quick pressure release so let's open the lid and here is our oats and mixed vegetable soup so this has turned really good if you need more liquid you can add a more water or chicken stock or vegetable stock to thin down the gravy give a taste and if you need more salt you can add I'm adding quarter teaspoon more salt and give everything a good mix serving into a soup bowl so this is a rather thick soup if you want to thin down the gravy you can add more water or stock based on your preference uh, so I like this to be thick so this has to be enjoyed right away as it sits it will thicken so enjoy guys here's our healthy and nutritious oats and mixed vegetable soup Our third one minute recipe is going to be mixed vegetable curry. Into the stainless steel pot adding quarter cup chopped onion. Next adding half cup mixed vegetables. I have taken carrots, beans, peas and corn. So next adding half cup diced potatoes. So you need to dice this really small. So next let's add all the spices quarter teaspoon turmeric powder half to one teaspoon chili powder one teaspoon coriander powder and half teaspoon garam masala finally let's add one teaspoon salt So next I'm going to add half cup coconut milk and half cup water if you prefer you can add one cup coconut milk but here I'm using a combination of coconut milk and water so next adding some chopped cilantro like two tablespoons so give everything a good mix Close the pot with the lid. So let's select the pressure cook setting. Setting the time to one minute and the pressure should be at high. So clicking start as I'm using instant pot ultra model. So after pressure cooking for a minute, let's do a quick pressure release. So all the pressure has released so let's open the lid and here is our mixed vegetable curry in coconut milk so the vegetables have cooked well since I've uh, chopped the potatoes, potatoes really have small. turned really soft so give a taste if you need more salt you can add that let's serve the curry into a bowl so this can be served along with um, white rice or brown rice also goes really well with rotis chapatis or even with naan so enjoy guys our fourth one minute recipe is going to be upma or savory semolina so this is a popular breakfast dish in India 
to the stainless steel pot i'm going to add half cup sliced shallots if you don't have shallots you can also add small onions or pearl onions adding one green chili that's been halved i'm also adding one dried red chili i'm going to half that next adding one cup semolina so this is unroasted semolina if you want you can add roasted half teaspoon turmeric powder so next let's add one and a half cups water let's season with one teaspoon salt and next my favorite ingredient ghee or clarified butter so i'm adding two tablespoons of ghee so more ghee the better tasting the upma will be so next let's combine everything well so let's close the pot with the lid let's select the pressure cook setting clicking on manual and let's set the time to one minute and it should be at high pressure so here i'm using seven in one duo model so after pressure cooking for a minute let's do a quick pressure release let's open the lid so here's our one minute upma so there's some moisture in it so i'm going to give it a good mix it has perfectly cooked so as it sits it will set well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the stainless steel pot out of the main pot and keep it covered for 15 to 30 minutes that's when it will set well for a better presentation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cooked upma in a bowl, even out the top and next I'm going to flip this over to a plate so that it will fall in the shape of a dome. For some color, let's add a cilantro leaf so now it looks colorful and uh, so this is our one minute upma or savory semolina this can be served for breakfast or as an evening snack our final and fifth one minute recipe is going to be quinoa with mixed vegetables here i'm using my ceramic non-stick pot you can also use your stainless steel pot so adding one and a half cups white quinoa so I have not rinsed the quinoa or soaked it. So next adding half cup mixed vegetables. Um, so I have taken carrots, beans, peas and corn. So next let's season this up. So adding half teaspoon chili powder. You can add up to one teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. One teaspoon coriander powder. So I'm also going to add half teaspoon garam masala. So you can literally add any kind of seasoning or dried herbs that you would like. So adding one teaspoon salt, one handful of chopped green onions and one handful chopped cilantro. So next adding one and a half cups water. You can also add chicken stock or vegetable stock that will make this even more flavorful so the water quinoa ratio is one is to one so give everything a good mix close the pot with the lid let's select the pressure cook setting and let's set the time to one minute and the pressure should be at high so here I'm using Instant Pot Ultra model. So I'm clicking start and let it cook for a minute. So after pressure cooking for a minute, let's do a quick pressure release. It's time to open the lid. So here is our one minute quinoa with mixed vegetables. So I'm going to combine everything well. So this is a bit crispy. If you want your quinoa to be soft, you can keep it covered for a few minutes and then it will turn soft. So the pot is still hot, so keep it covered for 30 minutes. Let's serve into a bowl. 
So quinoa is a super food. It's rich in proteins and fiber. So do include in your diet. So this can be served along with grilled chicken or seafood, uh, even with our one minute red lentil and tomato curry, or you can also serve with the mixed vegetable curry. So enjoy guys. Here are the five vegetarian Indian recipes that's pressure cooked in the instant pot for a minute. So here's our red lentil and tomato curry. So this can be served along with rice, uh, white rice or basmati rice. It can be also served as a soup. And here's our oats and mixed vegetable soup. As it sits, it will thicken. Uh, so this is very healthy and nutritious as we have added oats. And here's our mixed vegetable curry that's cooked in uh, coconut milk so this is also very delicious and here's our one minute uh, quinoa with mixed vegetables so quinoa is a super food so it's definitely very healthy and this is upma so this can be served for breakfast all these dishes are very nutritious healthy and these are all vegetarian and it couldn't get any easier all we have to do is throwing all the ingredients into the stainless steel pot and pressure cook for a minute so do give these recipes a try and let me know your feedback so if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be back with more instant pot cooking videos until then happy cooking take care and bye